from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. The CDC says that head lice happens most often among preschool and elementary school age children and their household members and caretakers. So with school back in full swing, we want to get your school year off to a clean start with the help of Baptist Health's Dr. David Gerson with Sherwood Family Medical Clinic. Good morning Good to morning. you. People at home are already yeah, starting already to do this. As soon as we start talk talking about it. about it, you want to start scratching a little yeah. bit. But yeah, it's a problem. It affects everyone at some point almost. It's, it doesn't, you know, attract one yeah. person or different. It, it, it's out there and yeah. it's in our schools and really with our little kids. It, it can be really frustrating and uh, we were just talking before the camera but it shows up in little ones mostly not adults because little ones are sharing hats, sharing clothes, kind of hugging each other and you know it's head-head contact. The thing to know about lice is they don't fly, they don't hop, you have these nightmares about that, they crawl and so you have to actually have skin to skin, hair to hair, clothing to clothing contact. And so that's the important thing to remember. And when, you know, because they're so fastidious, you have to be very, uh, very aggressive in, in killing the bugs and getting rid of the nits, which are the eggs and the hair. And so the question is, what exactly are lice? They're bugs, they're insects, uh, arthropods. And here's a picture right here. These are a picture of the nits. And so what's really important is the topical applications, which are the only ones that are available for kids right now, really kill the bugs, but don't do a great job on the nits. Mm. And so the nits, it's it critical that once you treat with the topical preparations, you comb out the nits. I've got a little comb to show mm -hmm. here in a second. Um, but you have to do this every two to three days after you do the application. Get those nits out. If you see any live bugs, and there you go, there's the comb and very fastidious. If you see any bugs two to three days after the initial application, you have to do another application. It's not fun. It takes some time. That's the comb you're talking about. You really yeah. have to go through, make sure each yeah, this strand is, this is, is not combed. for slicing up your onions. It's <laughs> specifically for hair. You have to take, uh, you'll, you'll see these in the, uh, in the aisle where you get these same materials for the application, and you just have to be on it. How do you spot head lice? Because there's like, is this dandruff? Is this hairspray buildup? Or is this a this a nit? I would actually tell you, it's not it's not as it's it's not as subtle or difficult. The nits look like little black dots. Um, the 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 um, they'll move. You'll see little. It's not dirt because dirt just sits there. The nits the, the the lice will move. The nits, you know, we'll talk about sesame seeds, small little rice kernels, that kind of thing. So they're real obvious, and they stick to the hair mostly. Time that, that root of the hair. Mm. Um, you'll see those nits and you just have to pull them off. You have to pull them off. What about getting rid of it, not just on the head, but in clothing and right. in furniture, upholstery, right. all of that? Right. So there are some sprays. I brought a little sample here of a spray you can use. You can use that on your couches, on your beds, on your your furniture. Vacuuming um, with a real uh, a quality vacuum with a good filter on it is very important. The clothing, you have to make sure it's washed in very hot water and dried in a dryer, which gets to, I think, at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit for at least five minutes. If you can't do that, then you seal everything you can, clothing, that kind of thing, in, in a sealable bag and leave it alone for two weeks. The lice will die. And real quickly, last question. If one person has it, do you treat everyone? Uh, well... Check, in the house? check everyone. Okay. Very closely. You don't necessarily have to treat. I think some families do, and I think that's not... Un, un, unheard of. It's, it's not a bad thing. But you don't have to treat everyone if they don't have symptoms of it. But yeah, the whole house has to be treated, all the clothing, all the, anything the patient comes into contact with, very important to treat. Never fun, but it happens to a lot of people, especially yeah. when school is back in session. So be prepared there. If you have any questions, you can always call the Baptist Health Helpline at 1-888-BAPTIST.